In this video, we're going to take a look at some of the SEO concerns involved with multilingual websites. The first one we're going to look at is the issue of duplicate content. If you have two pages with the same content, even though they're in different languages, Google is going to wonder why. They have an excellent document here about duplicate content. And it says duplicate content generally refers to substantive blocks of content within or across domains that either completely match other content or are appreciably similar. Mostly this is not deceptive in origin. So we learn two things from that. They expect it to happen and they assume that you are not gaming the system. Down here it says, however, in some cases, content is deliberately duplicated across domains in an attempt to manipulate search engine rankings. And then lastly, I want to show you that Google tries hard to index and show pages with distinct information. So what we learn from this page is that they know that it happens and that they know that some people are trying to game the system and some people are not. So if you have a multilingual website, all you need to do is communicate well with Google and things will work out just fine. One of the benefits of WPML is that it does do that for you. This is our homepage and we have both Spanish and English set up on the site. If you right click and go to view page source, right here at the top, you will see two little tags, hreflang en and hreflang es, and specifically the URLs for those languages. If you had more languages, there would be one line per language. This communicates to Google that you have a multilingual website and that they will find multiple versions of the same content in different languages. And that's okay. Fortunately, WPML does this for you, but it's something to keep in mind as you build multilingual websites. Another thing we want to look at is how your URL is built. Let's go to the WPML settings. We're going to go to languages. And right here is how we can choose our URL format. Right now, my site is set up to use different languages in directories. So for example, English is the main one, but slash ES is what I'm using for Spanish. I could optionally require the main one to have slash EN, and then it'll want a little bit more information. But usually the home URL is the default language without anything extra. Now another option is a different domain per language an entirely different domain name. This works just fine as far as Google is concerned, but it can confuse people who might be interested in more than one language of your website. Now, if they're only interested in one language, they don't care what other URLs you use, but if they should want to look in more than one language, it can be confusing to go to a completely different website. And the third option is one that I really don't recommend, and that's where the language name is added as a parameter, like this, question mark, lang equals es. Let me show you what that looks like. Now I'm going to go to my blog and switch to Spanish. And right up here, it has the same URL as English, except it says question mark lang equals ES. Now that URL is not inherently bad or broken. Google doesn't mind if you use parameters like that, but it does not communicate to Google that this is the Spanish version of this site. Also, it can be difficult and confusing for people to type out this URL. So for that reason, I recommend the different languages in different directories. We'll switch back to English and then switch back to Spanish. And there we have our URL slash ES slash news. It's more readable both for humans and for Google. So for a quick summary, Keep in mind that you are duplicating content when you make translations of your site, and that's okay as long as you communicate properly with Google that you have multiple languages. Secondly, make sure your URL is readable, both by people and by Google. My suggested URL system is in directories. Domains works just fine and may be perfect for you depending on your audience, but I don't recommend adding the language name as a parameter. In our next video, We'll take a look at how to properly manage your translations so that you don't end up with the same content being translated multiple times.